Whoa, whoa, what's going on there, all of my reindeer fleece and blankets? It's Josh, and welcome back to another speed build. As I said before in a previous video, y'all are gonna be getting just a bunch of <laughs> a bunch of speed builds regarding this little town. Now, uh, so you have you've gotten two. This is your this is your second one. This is a museum, and I think I explained it in a video. But again, this cul-de-sac theme is going to be Old Town Willow Creek. So this building is, or was, the town hall back in the day, and now it serves as now it serves as a museum for the town. And I knew when I got. I had seen this shape of building online on like Tumblr, I guess, I think a couple weeks ago, and I had liked the shape. I liked the two like almost castle-like, uh, I can't think of the proper words. It's late. I just worked an eight hour shift and I'm tired. But what are you gonna do? Um, almost like castle-like towers on the front and I had really liked it and I was like you know I'm gonna go with that for I think that would make a really cute town hall it would look good just at the end of the street like that and so I just went for it and I really like really 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 like how it came out good 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 so how is everybody doing I had a life up. I was thinking about. I wasn't sure if I wanted to talk about this in this speed build or if I wanted to talk about this in like. Do like an actual video. I think I'm still going to do a video, like a mini life update and like what's going on with this channel type of video. But I'm gonna talk about it now too. Um, for those of you that know. You know what? Actually, no. I'm not going to talk about it. I'm just going to talk about The Sims. <laughs> that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to keep you guessing. I love the floor paint. I think that's one of my favorite things in this game, in all honesty, is the floor painting, like the rocks and the different dirts and the different colors and textures of grass. It's really cool. The front door. I always struggle with what color I want the buildings to be. I always struggle with that. The shape and design and stuff, I struggle a little bit too, but not as much as like trying to figure out what kind of colors to use. I like what I end up picking. I end up going with like the towers yeah the towers in this red and then I think the rest of the building is brick I think don't quote me on that though <laughs> oh my god and I just want to talk about how nice some all of you are in this community like every single simmer that I have spoken to well not directly but like through just on twitter and and on youtube on here as well it it's so nice like spring sims as i've mentioned before so sweet the great symphony so sweet chris flow oh my gosh i'm forgetting i'm forgetting simply nando like all these people that i've talked to and started to meet over the last like couple of months and you're all just so nice and I'm so happy that I've finally joined this community I've wanted to for such a long time and then I haven't really I don't know I I was never really in a place that I thought like anyone would pay attention I guess but um, then I just started to realize when I realized that I could do it that it's like I don't need to be doing it for attention you know, I'm doing it because I like it. I'm doing it because I enjoy making this content. And if even one other person enjoys watching it, then I feel great. Okay, 
here's I know you all wait for the moment where you get to watch me Strugs 2.0 and here it comes and again it's with staircases and entryways who's shocked it's literally the thing I struggle with the most I will never I tried this I tried so many things I think I can get to that though okay and then I had, you know what? I'm sorry. I stopped talking for a second there because I was just watching what I was doing. I didn't know. Oops. It was not something over that was made of glass. I I didn't know exactly because at this point I was building it like a town hall, and then I, right here I started to realize, oh, okay, this is a museum, so I need. I can't have it completely set up exactly like a regular town hall because it needs to feel more like a museum. So, I'm just doing lights. I'm spending so much time on the lights. It's because I want them to be all symmetrical. And I struggle. I spent a couple of minutes trying to figure out. I thought that looked too westerny. Bathhousey. I thought it looked too dark. I didn't want like a big pattern or anything. I think I end up going with the first one I put, the tan with the white border. Or did I choose that? I chose that, didn't I? I always go, I need to start trying to expand, but I do have a certain building style for certain things change the era in which I still have certain things that I enjoy. Yada, yada, yada. Okay, so now I'm trying to decide. Because the whole theme of the hallways was that those were people's offices at the end. And then I started to think about... <clears throat> excuse me, sorry, my throat got dry. I started to think about like what type of museum this was and how I'm going to what, like how am I going to run the museum how am I going to have it organized and so I knew I needed, I needed to be a place where there's like a, a clerk or a front desk clerk and I'm just making sure people buy their tickets and blah 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 and that type of stuff so I start making this here and then I struggle a little bit with how I want the entrance to look because and also, this is one of the longest, like, this is one of the longest speed builds I've done. Like, as far as how long it took me. It took me almost two hours to complete this build. And what's funny about it is this is one of the only speed builds where I knew exactly the shape of the building I wanted going into it. All the other ones, I kind of just had a, an, a general like idea of the shape, but this I knew exactly. And I think you could tell in the beginning because I just started going. But, and then I just struggled. It's because there were just, there's just a couple rooms like this one right here, where I just kind of just took a long time with. And then I knew I wanted to have some like, seating area. And I still wanted it to feel like a town hall, so I wanted to go with like styles of chairs and benches and now I was starting to think about exactly what type of stuff was going to be in this museum because it used to be a town hall so it needs lots of bookcases and like old desks and like old files and stuff and here's where you see it starting to starting to click in my brain exactly what I want to do. Oh, and I wanted to shout out to a friend of mine, Luis, and I, I want 
to give him a little shout out because he is a co-worker of mine. We have become pretty good friends now and he watches my Sims videos. I think I just think it's so funny that someone that I know in real life that's a friend of mine actually enjoys watching my content and it's like he's badgering me about season two of The Sims, which it's coming, Luis, I promise. I've been having technical difficulties. I still don't own, well, technical difficulties, financial difficulties. I haven't had any extra money yet, any extra money recently because of Christmas and just saving, trying to put money away for something that's happening. And so I still don't have get together, but I think I'm going to have to wait because I really, I have so much set up for season two and I've recorded so much and I have so much content ready, but I wanted to wait until get together came out because I wanted to include that, like be a big part of season two. But now I have all these other ideas with like Old Willow Creek that's just about ready. And so I just, I've been putting it off, but I think I just, I have to start it. I want to start season two, so I, it needs to be done. And here you see, I think you know what I mean. Like, so you walk in and then it's all like the old desks and stuff that used to be in the front, all on display. All that jazz. Which side do I do first? Yeah, do this side first. And so, I'm doing it in the same color. And I was kind of confused as what I was going to do with this hallway. But then I thought it could be like just a, a little walkway with a bunch of little stuff like to look at on either side. And it's a, um, also a walkway to a another little room that was once someone's office, like maybe a councilman, maybe even the mayor. So I'm going to talk about something that I didn't realize wasn't a thing until just now. So I've never, like none of my Sims in The Sims 4 that I've played have ever had a non-live mode career, meaning I, when I bought the Sims 4 this year, I immediately bought Get to Work with it because Get to Work is what convinced me to buy the game at all, actually. And so I've never played, I've since I love Get to Work and I love those three, like, join them careers, I haven't looked at the other um, normal careers from the game. and. There's no political career this time around, which kind of surprised me, like, because there's a storyline that I kind of have, that it's kind of been flubbed a little bit, but I think it's still going to, I'll still say it and what I say goes, basically. Because initially one of the characters I was going to make mayor in season two, but there's no political career anymore. But then again, I haven't played since The Sims 2, and The Sims 2 had a political career. That's neither here nor there. So, this could have been the mayor's office, or a council men, councilwoman's office. What inspired me to do this town hall is really I've been watching a lot of Parks and Recreation. <laughs> My boyfriend's never watched it, so I was like, we were, when we were talking about what next show to watch a couple of months ago I was like oh my god you haven't seen Parks and Rec we need to watch it and so we are on season six now I'm sad there's only seven seasons I'm talking about nothing right now I'm sorry I'm gonna go back to watching the build with you guys but yeah so I was designing this like this one's office so lots of paintings bookcases nice little curtains I think I use those same curtains in all the windows which I like, simple, yet elegant, much like a town hall. And also, this was my first time building a museum, so I wasn't really sure how to go about it, so I just did how I've, I've been into museums before, so I just kind of wanted to give it that kind of feel. God, I didn't realize how much 
I spent all, like more than half my time just on the first floor. Like just on designing the first floor. Oh, okay. I knew I was going to struggle somewhere. I couldn't remember. I struggled because I forgot I need... I, I always forget about the bathrooms. Always. Unless it's like a, a house, a residential place. Whenever I'm building a nightclub, a lounge, a bar, a, a generic area, like a museum, obviously, I forget about the bathroom. I don't plan for where I'm going to put the bathroom. So I end up just converting the other side, which I was originally planning on both of them being offices, but turned it into a nice, big, lush bathroom. Single occupancy, but it's still very, very nice. I wanted to make it big, because museums are nice. I know, at least in my experience, I've never really been into a museum bathroom that was really nice, but in my mind, if it was a really good museum, the, they would spend just as much time as making the bathroom feel real as the rest of the museum. So that's what I wanted to do. Little old timey style with the patchwork or checkerboard print. No patchwork. Looks like a quilt or a picnic blanket. And then I start to so hallway. Hallways are basically the same on both sides where it's just there's blocked off and there's just like a single small little path you can walk down. And then a bunch of other knickknacks from the town hall's past. For y'all to check out and such while you're on your way to the bathroom. <laughs> Which I guess that makes this kind of awkward, but it's fine. I still like it. I think it's pretty cute. In 17 minutes, gosh. Well, this is how you know I'm getting more confident with my speed builds, because I don't even care. I'm like, I'm going to do this, and I'm going to finish it in one sitting. But I think it's made my... Um, I don't want to say style a little better because it makes me quicker on my feet when it comes to building, which I like. I like, it's almost like training my brain. I need to train my brain. Oh, and here we go. Second floor, what I've been super excited about. And I'm glad, I'm really happy with how it turned out. Oh, I'm so excited for you to see it. But, so, two different sides. Staircases. Big doors. Because that is going to be the chambers, the council room, if you will, where all the councilmen, where all the town hall meetings would occur and take place. The courtroom, or however you'd like to call it. I wanted I would love I wanted to put these beautiful chandeliers as lighting because I wanted them to be lush. And then I struggled a little with how I wanted to place them. I wanted at least four desks because I feel like four is the amount of <laughs> And then I have move objects on so the chairs kind of just went straight into the wall. But it doesn't really matter because no one's going to be actually using them to sit in, so Ooh, and then I like that I did this too. I set up chairs as if there was like a town hall meeting taking place and I did this because I, there's there's a museum in uh, next to Knott's Berry Farm over here in California and there is a the museum has to do with the signing of the Constitution and then you like go into this room where it's set up just like this, like a big town hall where all the founding fathers were. And then there was like a little show where like kind of depicted the conversations that happened, the lights dimmed and the way you knew that a certain person was talking because you had all their desks set up and all the nameplates. And the way that you could tell who was talking was it was all dim and then 
the candle that was on whoever was taking his table would burn the brightest. And so that's how you would know that that was the person who was talking. Anyway, that was my um, inspiration for designing the town hall uh, meeting place would be. And then I wanted to put these nameplates on the desks to give it more of an official feel. Kind of struggled with the alt key and move objects not really cooperating very well, but... out of control. <laughs> More politically things on the walls. Keys, city keys, documents, officiality, diplomas, and what have you. Various things. I think those were certain people that had won like an award in town. I forgot I wanted to put that somewhere. I never did. Some chairs. Sit. Bask in the glow. Yes. Very nice. <laughs> Me approving of my own work. Kind of speed through this section a little bit, or in this design, I just put a couple of things. Piece. Little knights in shining armor, guarding you with the move up the stairs. Get some lights going. And then I put like little seating areas on either side. And I figured the floor and the wallpaper matching the first, the first two, both floors matching the third side. Was a pretty good idea. Just put more paintings. And all the paintings, all the time. The more the merrier. <laughs> oh. Look at me struggling with the camera. But what's the struggle with this stupid boat because it was too big for everything. I wanted to display this boat on something. It just wouldn't go and I have no idea why it wouldn't. It was making me angry. Like, where, where are you supposed to go? And then I just like, threw it there. <laughs> Secretary's office or something. City planner, who knows? Something, something. I like all the little things we put. We put me going crazy. <laughs> Oh, I love the nine key. I love lifting objects up. It gives everything more dimension when you can stack things on top of each other. But how's everyone else doing? I hope everyone else is good. I am going to post an update video soon just about this channel and 
that I am going to be putting more content soon, but I just have something big coming up. Which I will talk about in that video that I do make. Just individual chairs over here, just in case you're so low and you don't want to sit next to a stranger on the couch on the other side. Lots of plants. Government loves nature. Could be the waiting room of the Parks and Rec department. I liked that effect. It could have been like two different or three different paintings. I, when I thought about putting the flagpole up, I had to tell myself, no, just wait, because I was kind of, when I was working on the first floor, I thought about doing that, and I was like, oh, run out and push the flag, and then I had to stop myself, like, no, it'll be the last thing you do. Bam, and right into the screenshots, yay! Outdoors, walking up the steps, very dramatic and bold. Front entrance, there's Shaggy going to get some learning done. Front entrance from the far angle. The hallway on the left that takes you to the old office. Oh, uh, another angle. Oh, there's Savannah coming down the stairs. I wonder why she was there. Hmm. Hallway on the right leading to the grand bathroom that I really enjoy. And oh, look at that. Look who's there getting her Intelligence on Miss Bianca. Side corner and that side seating area. Other side. Oh, Velma! Hey, girl! Hope you're having a great day. Ooh, and then that corner and the Peace Day Resistance, my favorite, the Town Hall Chambers. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this build and I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.